I've done a few videos recently on donation blocks and when I went to Squarespace Circle Day not long ago I actually spoke about Squarespace's new donation system. One thing I haven't done yet is done a walkthrough of the new donation form or the new donation block. So what I want to do in this video is a little bit of a deep dive just showing you what's new, how to set it up and how to start actually getting donations for your organization. I've gone ahead and selected the template. We've got the make a donation section here. You don't obviously need to start with a template. You can put this in wherever you want. So we've got a block in here, but if you wanted to put a new one in, we'd go into our editor. Donation lives right at the bottom here. So you click on this and you've got a block. Now you can customize this with design, but before we get into design, what I want to show you is the back end because we need to set up the back end first, obviously. So if we go into donations here, it's going to take you through a setup wizard. So just basically a tick list of things to do. Connect the payment processor. Squarespace payments is now rolled out. They're going to try and push you onto that, but you can also do PayPal and Stripe. So connect the payment processor. If you want to customize a donation receipt, you can do that here. And I'll just quickly show you the payment processor so you can see it wants to set you up on that recommended they're going to push everyone onto this you do get preferential rates to be fair but yeah if you want to use paypal square for point of sale or stripe you can do that too so let's say you don't have a page set up and you want to just do a template you can select either of these and be like okay i want to do a crowdfunding you're only ever really going to get these two templates uh, four templates, I tell a lie. You're going to get four different templates. If you want to just start blank, start blank, it's fine. Then once you've done that, you know, let's say you've got your page ready. I've got this here. Simply go to it and click edit. And then you've got your block. So click on block. And let's drag this into the center. You're going to set up the payment process if you haven't already. Then, so this is really interesting. If we click on fund settings, it's going to take us out of here. And into this, which is called the general fund. So... Here you can set up a disclaimer, you can set up your donation amounts. So I'm just going to add a disclaimer. This is for my laptop habit. And then you can set amounts. So you can set as many amounts as you wish. Like so. And this is completely different to how they used to have it. So let's just call this uh, bronze, silver. I cannot spell when I'm on camera, to be fair. I can't spell when I'm off camera either. Gold, platinum, and let's do diamond. There we go. Lovely. And you can move these about however you wish. And you can also delete them if you need or simply edit by clicking into here. Then, um, I don't even think you need custom amounts. But if you want, let's say, a user to be able to, like not pick from one of these and just donate like a million dollars. Well, I don't know if Squarespace could handle a million dollars, but you can toggle this on and basically that will allow someone to just type in what they want to donate. Then you can set monthly and weekly um, recurring donations if you want to do that. Now, this is a new feature completely from Squarespace, which is great. And essentially it allows you to get... Um, not retainer donations, but, well, recurring donations. Donations that come in regularly, either monthly or weekly. They didn't used to have this, and this is this is great. Um, I honestly see zero point in this menu on the side. <laughs> when you can see everything there, it makes no sense. But anyway, you set that up, and that's called the general fund. So let's save this. Now, you can see this applies to all donation blocks right this is completely different to what it used to be you used to, i'm pretty sure you used to be able to have different donations for different blocks i could be wrong but you have to have a, a general fund that applies to everything so you can't have custom donations on one page custom donations on the other from what i understand and what's also strange which i completely got sidetracked on before is if you do click on fund settings and you come into here, I swear I cannot find in the menu system where to find this. I don't even know if you can. So like if I go into the search bar here and I look for general fund, 
nothing comes up. And then in the donation area, so if I look for donations, and I go, okay, great, donations. In the settings, if I go payment options, it just takes me to here. If I go check out customization, then that's emails. Donor receipts, that's emails. Account emails, that goes into contacts. All settings, again, payments, it's just payments. Unless once you set up payments, um, you get the donor area or the, the general fund. But I mean, someone comment below if I've got this wrong, but I spend a good 10, 15 minutes looking around, searching for it and I, I can't find it. So a bit of a strange one from Squarespace, but I digress. The donation system itself is nice and robust. So we click on this, let's move this over here. We've done the fund settings, we can change. Let's just tell you what I'll do. Let's get rid of this so you can see everything. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now, you've done your fund settings, you've set up, set up your payment processor. You can change this, so let's just say donate to the cause. You can see that there. Your disclaimer sits down here. <laughs> this is for my laptop habit. Now we've got the actual styling. So you can pick from the recommended, which is nice. Looks really good. You can have a fiddle around with all of these. Or what you can do is play around with this yourself. So you can add a background. You can change the color of that background. You can then change the stroke color. So the stroke color is going to be like all of these things. Then we can take the stroke off. Then we can do the stroke color, which is what sits around the donation block. So if we go back into design, you can't see it when the blue is around it. But if I wanted to change that to uh, white and then the background to black, if we come off, if we make this a little bit bigger with the thickness, you can see how that applies there. So let's go down, let's change the thickness. We'll just have that on medium. We'll change the border radius to 10. So you can see that curves our edges in here. And then you can change things like padding. I should probably make this so, so you can actually see it, but you can change the padding. You can change uh, the alignment of this. So let's go into disclaimer and then button and then amount alignment so you won't be able to see it with that but if we go back to this you can see it's center aligns and then finally you can change your button between primary secondary and tertiary and then again how that's aligned with your styles your sizing your padding all of this you get a lot more granular control over how the form itself looks so it's actually very different to how it was. Some things I like, some things I don't like. I really like that you can do recurring um, donations now. I like that you can style it. I find it ever so slightly more clunky. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a step in the right direction. A long way to go, but this is getting there. So make sure you hook up your payment processor. Make sure it's everywhere where you want to try and get donors. And then just be aware that whatever you have in the general fund is reflected between all the donation blocks on the website. To my knowledge, I'll remake this if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.